Hello guys and welcome back to Excel Share Academy. So today we are going to do the second part of site specific recombination. In the previous lecture, we have discussed about the transposition transpositional type site specific recombination. So if you remember, there are two types site specific recombination SSR. So a transpositional hoge, a hoge to conservative. Okay. So today in this lecture, we are going to discuss about the conservative site specific recombination. So it is a type of genetic recombination in which the DNA strand exchange takes between the segments uh, which are possessing at least certain degree of sequence homology. Last time we saw that there was no sequence homology ki nahi thi, but in this case it is required. Okay. So for example, the bacterial phage genome getting integrated into the bacterial chromosome. Okay. Now let's see, these are the examples, the structure which is involved in the CSAR. So we have got the pair of the uh, symmetric recombinants recognizing the sequences. Okay. Now, uh, these are the regions where the, uh, where the recombination is going to happen. Now the subunits of the recombinants binds these uh, rec recognition sites and then they uh, undergo for the recombination. So can you see these are the recombination sites and then the recombination is going to recognize these sequences. Okay. Now it is undergoing recognition. So once it goes and binds to these recognition sequences, recombination happens. Okay. Now classification. So again, under conservative SSR, there are two types that is depending on the amino acid present at the active site of the enzyme. Okay. Recombinants that is tyrosine recombinants family and the serine recombinants family. And they are like these recombinants are also known as resolvase and the DNA invertase. Members of the tyrosine recombinants and lambda integrates using ATTPB recognition sites. So these are the sites which you need to remember guys. Yeah, you exam ke liye hai. So where you are going to remember all these sites, okay? <clears throat> now, coming to this table where it is already mentioned like how uh, the different type of the uh, family members which is coming under the recombinants that is serine family and the tyrosine family. Her ek family ke under ek example diya hua hai, okay? So salmonella HIN invertase transposon GN3 and gamma delta resolvase. Phir tyrosine family mein aage aapka phage Lambda integrase, phage P1, CRE, E. coli, Sir C, and uh, Sir D, East FLP. So these are the guys' examples. Agar aap pure uh, lecture mein, if you could remember this table, that is also more than sufficient. And I'll just let you know one more thing that in this case, okay, in the case of the recombinants, hum lab mein jo sabse jada use karte hain, thik hai? Lab mein, uh, for example, hume use karna hota hai for the uh, site directed mutagenesis ya kuch bhi genetic change lane ke liye in an organism, then we also use these recombinants, okay? So mainly in the lab, we use Cree, which is in the tyrosine family. An example is at the end of this lecture, I'll be explaining. So stay tuned and listen to the entire chapter. Okay, so let's talk about the tyrosine recombinant family. So during the strand exchange, the DNA cut at fixed points within the crossover region. Okay, and then they are going to make a deoxyribose hydroxyl group. So, when there is a cut, hoga, to obviously 3 dash OH to free hoga hi na whenever there is a cut. So, these recombinant proteins they form a transient covalent bond to this OH. Ko. So, here you have a recombinant covalent bond. Bana liya. Now, when you say transient, it means it is not permanent, obviously, right? Now, this phosphorescent bond between the hydroxyl group of the nucleophilic serine or tyrosine residue reserves the conserves the energy that was expended in cleaving the DNA. So, ye jo bond bana hai, that is actually the energy which is being released when the bond was broken in the DNA strand. Now, this energy stored in this bond is used for rejoining in the DNA to the corresponding deoxy ribose hydroxyl group on the other side. So, when the recombination will happen, so this bond hai between the recombinants and the 3 dash OH mein jo bana hai, that will be broken and the energy will be released, that will be used to make the bonds uh, in the DNA strand when uh, the recombination is over. Hai? Okay, so let's see with the help of the example also. So, as I said, so you have a nick which will be 3 dash aapka free ho jayega, 3 dash hydroxyl group to that your recombinants goes and binds. Hai? 
Now what is happening? They are going to exchange the strands. Can you see over here? So four recombinants are required over here. So यहाँ पे आपका this strand is going to make the bond. Okay, and this strand is going to make bond over here. Okay, now they are going to release. So जैसे ही जो आपका enzyme है and उसका जो bond है with the phosphodiester bond यहाँ पे present है जैसे ही वो break होगा, so those strands will be rejoined. ये ऐसे, ऐसे. Correct. So the energy which was stored between the enzyme and the DNA strand, it is used in order to make the bonds between the DNA strand itself. Okay, and eventually all these enzymes are getting released. So guys, this is really really very important. Please do understand. अगर आपको नहीं समझ रहा है, just let me know, ping me in the channel, okay, and I'll clear it again. Just follow the diagram carefully. Maybe I can just explain once again. Okay, so there was a nick. Okay, now to that nick, your recombinase comes and binds over there. So you can see that this bond is formed. Can you see here? Bond is formed. So this bond is formed when there was breakage. Uh, sorry, when there was breakage in the DNA strand. So ये जो strand जब break हुआ, जो energy release हुई, that energy was used to make bond between the enzyme and the phosphate bond. ठीक है? अब क्या होगा? Strand exchange हो रहा है, वहाँ पे bonding हो रही है. Now you need to release. Okay. Now कैसे होगा? ये बॉन्ड बनाने के लिए आपको एनर्जी चाहिए दैट एनर्जी दे आर गेटिंग फ्रॉम व्हेन दिस बॉन्ड विद द एंजाइम इज ब्रोकन नाउ अगर आप अभी देखोगे तो ए दो स्ट्रैंड तो हो गए नाउ टू मोर स्ट्रैंड आर रिमेनिंग राइट सो इसको एंड इसको लाइगेट करने के लिए आर टू आर फोर दे आर द एंजाइम्स विच इज गोइंग टू लूज द बॉन्ड फॉर्मेशन बिटवीन दीज फॉस्फेट हाइड्रोक्सिल ग्रुप करेक्ट अब क्या होगा जब ये बॉन्ड ब्रेक होगा तो ये बॉन्ड बनेगा आपका बिटवीन द फाइव डैश एंड द थ्री डैश सिमिलरली जब आर फोर बॉन्ड तोड़ेगा तो फाइव डैश ओ एच एंड यहाँ पे आपका बॉन्ड बनेगा तो दिस इज हाउ स्ट्रैंड एक्सचेंज इज है दिस इज हाउ द रिकॉम्बिनेशन इज है इन द कंजर्वेटिव एस एस आर ओके नाउ लेट्स टॉक अबाउट द सेरिन रिकॉम्बिनेस फैमिली ऑल्सो तो हियर ड्यूरिंग क्लीवेज प्रोटीन डी एन ए बॉन्ड इज फॉर्मड सिमिलर टू द योर टायरोसिन वाला <coughs> via trans esterification reaction in which the phosphodiester bond is replaced by the phosphoserine bond between the 5' phosphate at the cleavage side and the hydroxy group of the conserved serine residues okay and so look at over here so you have got the recombinants this ka serine group hai uska oh now this oh is gonna attack this o is going to attack on the phosphate group so right so it is going to form a bond over here now because of which here the transient bond is formed and what will happen you can see here is that aapka temporary protein dna covalent intermediate bana hai after the recombination then again this goes leaves and you get the dna strand okay so here an oh group form an active site Serine is shown to attack the phosphate, thereby introducing a single strand break at the site of the recombination. Okay. Now the liberated OH group on the broken DNA can then re-attack the protein DNA covalent bond to reverse this cleavage reaction. See, अगर आप यहाँ पे देखो cleavage हुआ है, correct? यहाँ पे जो OH है, now after recombination, the another strand का OH आके यहाँ पे उसको attack कर सकता है, okay? And then the DNA is found back. So, Eventually, what had happened? Ki recombinants aaya, usne bond banaya, right? Strand toda, the strand got exchanged, okay, recombine, and then again it comes back, attacks the protein DNA covalent, and rejoins. So, jitna apne recombinants me energy lagaya, utna hi apka wo release bhi ho gaya hai. Then, if you see, the diagram is totally uh, similar to the previous one. So you have got the crossover region. The recombinant recognition sites are there. So the the enzymes will come and bind over there. Now again, the attack is there. You can see it is forming a DNA protein covalent bond over here, right? Then you have got this three dash OH group uh, free is there, correct? So after this exchange and all, they can just attack back and rejoin. So what is happening? Eventually, it is resulting in the recombination. Okay. So then again, there are two classes of genetic recombination. ये हो गया आपका circular DNA में ठीक है. So as we said, recombination site, recombination sites are there. So you are going to have the recombination. अगर आपके पास है यहाँ पे transposable element, so what will happen? This can jump from here to here. 
ठीक है ये यहाँ पे जंप होके यहाँ होगा सो नाउ वी हैव सीन बोथ द क्लासेस ऑफ जेनेटिक रिकॉम्बिनेशन पहला हमने एक देखा ट्रांसपोजिशनल एंड दूसरा हमने देखा कंजर्वेटिव ओके Now how this is the example we were talking about, right? Uh, integration of the lambda phage genome into the chromosome of the host cell. So here you can see that phage recombination sites are there, then bacterial recombination sites are there. So they just cross over, and what happens? This results in the integration of the entire phage genome into the host genome. अब क्या होता है? उनकी machinery थोड़ी fast होती है. So that's why they take over the entire host cell machinery and start synthesizing for their own components. ओके सो गाइस आई होप दिस इज क्लियर टू यू नाउ यहां पे एक सवाल आना चाहिए व्हाई डस द रिकॉम्बिनेशन साइट इज प्रेजेंट इन बैक्टीरिया जबकि बैक्टीरिया को मालूम है कि वो फाज उसको अटैक कर सकता है अगर हमारे पास ये रिकॉम्बिनेशन साइट सिमिलैरिटी होती ही नहीं देन दिस इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ द फाज वुड हैव नॉट हैपेंड राइट बट कैसे है ना गाइस सी इन द एवोल्यूशन so they have you know they are emerging together agar koi bacteria apne aap ko resistant kar leta hai with the phage the phage they mutate in such a way that they have got they uh, they mutate in such a way that they get similar sequences again with the evolving host cell तो यहाँ पे क्या हो रहा है जैसे जैसे आपका बैक्टीरिया इवॉल्व हो रहा है लाइक इफ इट इज ट्राइंग टू बिकम रेजिस्टेंट टू दिस पर्टिकुलर फाज द फाज इज आल्सो ट्राइंग टू म्यूटेट इन सच ए वे दैट इट हैज गॉट द सिमिलर साइट्स व्हिच कैन बी रिकॉग्नाइज इन द बैक्टीरियल क्रोमोसोम तो वो फिर दोबारा इज एबल एंड कैपेबल ऑफ attacking the bacteria and getting its genome inserted into the bacterial genome okay so this is like jaise jaise bacteria evolve ho raha hai the phage is also evolving hence then uh, we have got three types of csai recombination insertion deletion and inversion so bahut simple hai insertion abhi humne dekha in the case of the lambda phage deletion mein kya hoga this particular region will be deleted itself inversion a b agar aisa hai to wo in, invert ho ke b a mein मतलब सीक्वेंस आपका पूरा चेंज हो जाएगा सो दीज टाइप्स ऑफ सीज से रिकॉम्बिनेशन इज हैपनिंग ओके now let's talk about this study where we are using the uh, these recombinase enzyme okay so if for example in this i'm going to explain about the cre okay so if you get time you can uh, read about cre recombinase and ye sirf log p site jo rehta hai usko recognize karta hai okay now what are log log p site they are the recognition sites cre is the recombinase okay now what they have done over here is as we are making a knockout so aapne mouse ka embryo liya you have taken the uh, blastocyst cells they have taken and grown into the culture dish okay now in the these cells what you have done is homologous recombination kiya and neomycin aapne yahan pe uh, एंटीबायोटिक डाल दिया ओके सो रेसिस्टेंस टूवर्ड्स द नियोमाइसिन सो इट मींस दैट हम जब भी ये सेल्स को नियोमाइसिन अह नियोमाइसिन मीडिया में डालेंगे सो द ओनली सेल्स व्हिच आर रेसिस्टेंट टू दिस लाइक जिसका जिसके पास रिकॉम्बिनेशन हुआ है ओके सो इट हैज गॉट द नियोमाइसिन रेसिस्टेंट जीन देन ओनली दोस पर्टिकुलर सेल्स आर गोना सरवाइव हम दो सेल्स विल सो वी आर गोना सेलेक्ट दो सेल्स ओनली ओके नाउ these transformed cells will be then transfer to the foster cells jo actually gray color ka hai theek hai so this is the foster mother to humne kya kiya this particular blastocyst we have taken and put it into the foster mother so aap kya dekh sakte hain yahan pe gray hai now once it gives the baby you are going to have the chimeric mouse so you can see gray black gray black pouches are uh, patches are there then it is crossed with the normal mouse again you get the chimera sorry then it is again mated with the normal mouse so now what you get is the heterozygous for gene knockout over here normal mouse normal mouse okay so what does it mean now it has got the two copies of the gene and here the heterozygous condition is there so this is how you make your transformed or the uh, gene loss variant in the mouse okay ek chhota sa uh, paper hai where they are talking about the coupling the recombinating to cre lock system which is enabling simplified large scale genome deletion in lactobacillus cassei so if you have guys have got time you can go through it uh, to understand but it's okay just remember about the cre lock system so clocks up the recognition sites cre is recombinant just remember all these things that is more than sufficient so guys that's all to, that's all for today and uh, from next time onwards we'll be starting with the new topic तो तब तक के लिए अपना ख्याल रखिए ठीक है